guys, so this week we decided to do something different. Instead of my normal written blog, we decided to bring you a video. Sometimes it's so much more fun to see things in person. So I am getting ready to take a trip to England with my husband and my three kids to go see his family. And I really want to travel lightly. I would love to be unburdened by tons of suitcases and clothes and shoes, the usual travel mode. And I have learned how to travel with only a carry-on. A lot of customers have come in and said, do you really do that? You have so many amazing clothes. Can you really do it? Actually, the answer is yes, I can. So I want to give you a couple of my tips that I use to guide my packing. And then I'm going to kind of walk you through some of the things I'm bringing with me. So tip number one is pick your vibe. And what I mean by that is, you know, if you're like me, you have different personas. Some days I wake up and I feel like being extremely casual. Other days I wake up and I want to look very put together, maybe a little dressed up, a little feminine. Well, when you're traveling and you want to keep it small, pick a single vibe. And so my vibe for this trip is ultra casual, jeans, t-shirts, boyfriend blazers, jackets, leather jackets, vegan leather jackets, kind of the five piece French wardrobe, which was the next part I was getting to. Pick your staples and high quality staples that you can build around. So my boyfriend blazer features in almost every outfit, really great high quality tees from the boyfriend tee, a new brand we're carrying, and my favorite Parker Smith jeans. And my last tip is don't bring shoes for every single outfit. Pick a single pair of shoes. I mean it, one pair of shoes. And if you want to actually start there and then build all of your outfits from there, pick shoes that are comfortable and versatile, maybe shoes that you're willing to retire after this trip if they get worn to death. So let me walk you through. So I started with four pairs of jeans. And I, a lot of times will say, take the number of days you're gonna be gone and pick half the number of bottoms, so I'm going for eight days, so bring four bottoms and four tops. And um, Parker Smith, Black Orchid, Mavi, these are all the denim lines we carry. They all made their way into this. And so I can work with all of these, they're versatile. Bring one great jacket that has a hood because it might be raining, you never know. I love my lightweight Mavi denim jacket. Pick a leather jacket or a vegan leather jacket. In this case, I took a vegan free people leather jacket and took the fur collar off and this is gonna just crop in anytime it gets cold outside. And then my all time favorite boyfriend blazer, my Tarte boyfriend blazer. Nice boxy blazer, looks great over the boyfriend tee if the tee is knotted at the waist or a little half tuck in the front. Bailey 44 blazers are also some of my favorites. Um, and then if you have not met the boyfriend tee, you definitely need to. I think I must have 12 of these in my closet right now. I wear these all the time. They can be worn big, long, boxy, just draping down. You can put a little cropped denim jacket over the top. You can put a cropped leather jacket over it. Um, you can even tie another t-shirt at or another uh, button down shirt at the waist. I love them when you knot them or when you do a little half tuck in the front. So I've got one in black, one in white, and one in gray, which is actually my very favorite one. Then I brought this extremely versatile Tyler Jacobs little dress that we just got in. It's a cute little shift. I'm not a big wearer of dresses, so I love to wear this over my skinny jeans. I wear it like a tunic. It is so cute and so comfortable. And then a cute new little top from Bobby, just to add a little bit of color. I threw in a few basic tanks. I especially love these new high necked halter neck tanks from Splendid. They're racer backs and just really high neck. They look great under the boyfriend tee. And I had to throw in a little bit about something to wear at night. I love this cute little nightie from Hanky Panky. It's so tiny, so lightweight, and um, just really easy to travel with. And then I am a hat girl. If you know me, if you've shopped at our store a lot, half the time I'm in a hat. So just a really easy neutral hat from Tarte. 
And then I want to say a word about these new bags that we are carrying from Soul and Celine. This is such an awesome line, very, very durable. A lot of their bags are reversible. You can turn them inside out. I love this little backpack for travel just because I can fit so much in here. I can kind of dress it up or down and it's just, it goes with everything. And so I'm just gonna have this and my carry-on suitcase and that is it. So let me say a word about accessories. Accessories are going to be your best friend. So you have some very basic looks but my favorite way to accessorize, very French, very European, is with my scarves, with my pashminas. They're great to just change an outfit up. They're also great if the weather changes and it gets cold, you can wrap them around you. You can even tie them around your waist as a little sarong. So I have a couple of really fabulous ones from Chan Lu that are cashmere silk blends, a little pricier. Then I have a really inexpensive, fabulous one from LVR that I just cannot say enough about. It's just so soft and easy. And these worn with the same outfit, just switching up the scarves, you get like three different outfits out of one. So lastly, I'm gonna, actually not lastly, we're gonna talk about shoes too. I wanna show you my little jewelry collection I'm taking. I am bringing exclusively Jenny Bird with me because I just love the way she works with mixed metals and leather, and it's a great contrast with the t-shirt and jeans. Again, another fantastic way to switch up an outfit. And the final thing I will say is about shoes. So I said pick that one versatile pair of shoes. These are some of my favorite shoes in my closet, my Dolce Vitas. They're the perfect combination between a boot and a sneaker. They're so incredibly comfortable. They look fantastic with denim t-shirts. They're such a cute contrast with a boyfriend blazer and they're just very, very durable. They've got this nice perforated look, which is really big for summer right now. And I can wear them to death and get rid of them if I wear them to death when I get back, because as you can see, they've already been worn half to death. And then I'm not bringing rain boots like the ones I have on now because that's just too much bulk to pack, but I am bringing my flip-flops. We may end up at the pool and you know what? Flip-flops are waterproof. So guess what? If it's raining outside and I really don't wanna get my little Dolce Vita's wet, I will just put on my flip-flops. And at the low price that these flip-flops come, I can always toss these when the trip is done. So I hope this helps you out. I hope it, it encourages you and lets you know that it is possible to travel for a week, two weeks, even six weeks, three months. Depends on how adventurous you are with just a carry-on. Thanks so much. See you again soon. Hope to see you in the store.